What's up guys, it is Eric from Varus Engineering and we are doing another install on our Mark V Toyota Supra. We have carbon polyweave side splitters and basically that is a carbon that is infused with plastic instead of epoxy. So it has slight uh, advantages of plastic and not the disadvantages of epoxy. Um, the only thing that uh, carbon fiber has advantage of over this is that ultimately carbon fiber is stiffer but it also tends to crack. This won't crack, but is not as stiff. Um, we think it's, it's a great option for splitters, side splitters, rear spats, that type of stuff. So that's why we use it. So as far as the install of our side splitters on the Supra, you will have to be drilling some holes. Unfortunately, the OEM didn't really give us much of a choice there. So we do have about five holes per side um, as far as how we are attaching it to the car. We do give you two options to install the units and the hardware is included for both. We have plastic screws. They are basically, they look like sheet metal screws, but they're a little bit fancier. And for some reason they're specifically for plastic. You can do this install. It is a little bit easier. It's gonna take a lot less time, but you do risk having the part potentially fall off because the screws are, it's, it's not a threaded part. It's basically you're drilling a pilot hole and then threading it through plastic and then hoping that the parts don't fall off. I have it ours installed on the right side like that so that we can do some testing and see how long or if the parts are backing off. But then on this side, I'm gonna do a little bit more difficult install, which is basically install plastic rivet nuts into the car. And that's more of a permanent and, and safer install in our opinion. Both are acceptable. Um, I know a lot of companies don't even give the option for rivet nuts. We always have because we feel that it's a, it's a much better install overall. So I'll do the harder install on this side and then I'll give you hints and tips on how to install it with just the, the plastic screws. Um, but basically the, the rivet nuts take significantly more work based, because you're installing a part into the car body. Um, first we're going to go over what's included in the kit so you know exactly what we include in the kit. Then we're going to go over um, the tools required to install the kit. Overall I would budget about an hour to two hours to install the kit because you are drilling some holes and you're probably a little bit worried of putting holes in the wrong places on your new car. Um, it, it would be beneficial to have a friend as well because it is very long, it's very difficult to hold it up and mark the locations with the splitter. Um, without a friend involved. So um, definitely recommend that. Let's get to it. As far as tools required for the install, we have a four millimeter Allen wrench. We have a 916 wrench, five millimeter Allen socket, 1164 drill bit, three eighths drill bit, drill, Sharpie, and a T35 Torx. You can drive that however you'd like. That's for the sheet metal screw, or not sheet metal, plastic screws and the one sheet metal screw as well. As far as install goes, this is basically what the front's gonna look like. It terminates right at that corner and, and that is exactly what you're looking for as far as how we design this part and the aesthetics that we had in mind. So that's correct for the front and then I'm gonna go to the rear and show you what the rear looks like. As far as the rear, that's basically what the rear looks like. Now we don't have a billet um, Varus Engineering logo there right now because we are running low and I want to make sure that you guys can have parts that look nice and we can actually ship them. So currently I'm going to do an install without and then I'll, I'll bond that in later. But basically that's what it looks like and if you look on the bottom of the car, the, the inner edge follows the black uh, part very well. Um, you'll see what I mean if you look at the bottom side. All right, so at this point, we have marked the five spots on the underside of the splitter. We're gonna take our 11 64ths drill bit and we're gonna make pilot holes. Now, if you are using the plastic screws, stick with the 11 64, insert the screw into those parts with a fender washer, install the side splitter, done deal. With this, we're gonna start the hole then we're gonna enlarge them to 3 8 inch, minus the front hole. The front hole goes into actual sheet metal, so we'll stick with the sheet metal screw there. And then on all the, the back spots, we'll go with a 3 8 inch hole so that we can install a rivet nut, and you'll see me do that here shortly. Okay. 
And here is one of the four rivet nuts installed into the factory side splitter. Again, the front does not get a rivet nut. It will get a uh, sheet metal screw because it goes through sheet metal. Now we can install the M6 by 1.0 by 25 millimeter long butt head cap screws through the side splitter and then uh, the side splitters are basically installed. All right guys, that concludes the install of our side splitters for the Mark V Supra. Overall, not a bad install, but you do have to drill some holes in your car to basically install them. Now what you'll see from installing these units is basically a slight increase in downforce. Basically, as the car is in yaw, and when we say yaw, that means basically turning, because that's actually seeing yaw to airflow. Airflow is no longer straight on with a car. We see that the high pressure air no longer wants to roll underneath the car, which is beneficial because high pressure underneath means you're pushing up. Low pressure on the bottom side is good for downforce and vehicles. So by installing the side splitters, we keep the high pressure on the top side, low pressure on the bottom side, we keep it a little bit more divided in yaw, so during turning. Now our CFD is generally done in a fairly straight line. So in CFD, we don't see a large difference, but as we have done studies in yaw, we have seen the side splitters actually do some, or provide some benefit to the vehicles. Um, yeah, I gotta wrap this up so that I can get to the track tomorrow. Hope you guys have a uh, good weekend or whenever this comes out. Until next time, thanks, bye.